I've watched your show, you, you, your guys' show, you know, so that's, it's nothing new. I have been here since day one in Nashville, Tennessee, in the asylum, busting my butt with a band of brothers just trying to make this an alternative for you to watch. Just trying to put this company on the map, but poof, Dixie Carter's daddy bought her a wrestling company. Ladies and gentlemen, wrestling fans tuning in worldwide. This is Nick Magnus Aldis, and you're watching the Andre Corbeil Show. Brian Cage, and you're watching Wrestling with Wrestling. Paul Orndorff, and you're watching the Andre Corbeil Show. This is Moose, and you're watching Wrestling with Wrestling.com. The masterpiece. Chris Masters. Hi, this is the pretty badass Kelly Klein, and you are watching the Andre Corbeil Show. Stevie Richards, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. And a hero, too. Five, four, three, two, one. She'll love you one second, and it's just evil the next. Makes bad decisions to listen to the people that, you know, that, that could have helped her. But she refused to trust them, but the people that were the sneakiest and the grimiest and the grease. She gravitated just, towards listening to? Yeah. Hmm. So... I, I, I don't know, man. And, and at the end of the day, when it came down to negotiating, she's the one that said, "This is how much we're offering." This is, you know, that's it. She was the one, and she was it firm. Wasn't. She was firm on that, eh? Was it wasn't anybody else? You know, the, the, despite what she wants to make people believe. Yeah, because there has been small rumblings that it was John Gabarik yeah. there that influenced or whatever, was, whatever. I, so. I, in fact, at this point, I, I think I may owe John a, a somewhat of an apology. He did say some stupid stuff, um, but at the end of the day, Dixie Carter is ultimately the decision maker. Yeah, she's the boss. She's so, the boss. She tried to make me believe it was John's... Uh, you know, he's the one that had the, the power. But well, at the end of the day, she signs the checks and uh, runs the company. So that's disappointing to hear. You know what I mean? Dude, uh, I, I, I swear to God, I thought I would have retired from TA. Oh, well, I, I thought, thought you I, were going to too. You know, uh, but I am more than happy at this point in my career. I look forward to the day if I can walk to the ring and put my boots down in that ring and tell them thank you. Uh, I'm never doing this again, so don't call me. You know, I'm done with wrestling. Well, I, I know, I know that the respect that I would get, and I would be, I would be happy to do that at Ring of Honor as well. Those are two companies that I have the utmost respect for. They've always been very respectful for, to me, and so I, I'm a, I do. I love those two companies. I really do. I, I love what they stand for. And I'm glad you went over to New Japan. I really am. I really am. Um, I uh, w- w- when you when they announced you. Returning at Ring of Honor, uh, I thought to myself, "Oh my God, he's not going to go to Japan or AAA." Because I thought you were headed to either AAA. That was just my assumption, right? Or New yeah. Japan. And when you when you signed or were reported to be showing at that event in Nashville, Tennessee, on TV, I was like, "Crap, he's not going to go to Mexico or Japan." Uh, right. So I was really, really glad, really, really glad. And when he became champion. Right off yeah, the hop. I, I mean, right off the hop. Those things that you know, I endorse that you know a guy comes out of the blue, wins the world title. That's something that I I hate, to be honest with you. But I did cheat. I did have someone help me. They um, cheated. They cheated. We cheated. So uh, in the end, I think it's okay. I'm already here. Okay. We're with you. Oh, it's gonna get fun tonight. What's up, everybody? This is the Godfather. LWO, forever, puppy.
All I'm doing is earning the title of being the whole show. Peace. They see me.